Yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to Lily White Lane. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're keeping safe and well. And hope you're having a smashing Thursday evening as we do have a roundup of today's Tottenham Hotspur transfer news to bring to you, including the Luis Diaz deal. Is it over? Is there something still in it for Tottenham Hotspur? Luis Diaz's uh, agent has different belief to most of us Spurs fans at the minute. We'll be getting to that in a second. We're also going to be talking about the likes of Tunky and Don, but they likes of Deli Ali, the likes of Brian Hill, and where they could be going this January transfer window, whether it be on a permanent deal or a loan deal. We'll also be discussing Zofa and Amrabat, as I say, and Adama Traoré moving to Barcelona today. So be sure to stay tuned and watch till the end. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can, and tap the notification bell. So you'll be notified and let know every time we upload on the channel. So without further ado, let's delve straight into it. So we will start things off by discussing Luis Diaz. Obviously, the news recently from Romano has been that Tottenham are very, very confident of getting this deal over the line. But obviously are looking for outgoings. The likes of Tunkin, and Dombele and Deli Alli to leave the club before we can complete this deal. But we do have some very interesting news from a very reliable Portuguese source. And this is definitely true news. You can tell by the way it's written and look. It's to do with Luis, uh, Luis Diaz. And this, you know, this all states Luis Diaz's agent has denied refusing Tottenham as has, and has emphasised, can't get my words out, and has emphasised the player's goal of playing in the Premier League. It's a dream of Luis Diaz to play in the Premier League. That's what the source says. And look, very, very interesting news. So basically, Luis Diaz's agent stating that it's a dream of his to play in the Premier League. And he's not refusing Tottenham Hotspur. It's not as such, you know, Luis Diaz and his agent saying they don't want to move to Tottenham. What this basically tells me is this deal is going to be determined on Daniel Levy, on Enoch and the owners of Porto. And, you know, the negotiations that take place between them. Because a lot of the time the player can get involved, whether he's really pushing for a move or whether he's not pushing for a move. For me, it seems to me in this situation that Luis Diaz would happily come to Spurs. It seems to me that he wants to come to Spurs. You know, the way that's written, as I say, from that source, seems to me that Luis Diaz would love to play for Spurs because, he, you know, he's come out and said before in interviews and so on and so forth in the Portuguese league, as I say, that his dream is to play in the Premier League. And look, a big Premier League club. I know some of us Spurs fans don't think it at the minute with the way we act in transfer windows, but a big Premier League club, a good wage bill, fantastic stage and fantastic training ground, fantastic manager... It is quite attractive when you're playing for a club such as Porto, which doesn't really have a chance of winning anything in Europe. While the Spurs, although we have a less of a chance, you've got to look at our structure right now as a football club and say it could be a little bit more attractive than Porto. So it seems to me that Luis Diaz does want the move to Spurs, but it's all going to come down to Daniel Levy. We heard also today that, you know, Spurs are only now four million off completing the deal. Four million, that's it. Now, look, if that's completely true, then... We've got to go for this. We can't let the same situa uh, situation happen as it did with the likes of Skriniar and, you know, those sorts of players where we were five or six million off signing them, Dybala's and whatnot. And we just let it fall through. This guy is a quality player. He can be a quality winger. He can be really creative. He's exactly what we need at the club. And honestly, I'd take this guy and that would be a good enough transfer window for me. I wouldn't ask for much else. So, but some of you guys may disagree with that. Some of you guys may agree with it. So please... Do comment down below your opinions on the Luis Diaz deal. Do you think it's even going to go through? Let me know in the comment section down below. And we're going to move swiftly on to the next piece of news. In that Spurs are confident of getting Tunky and Dombele and Deli Ali out on loan in the January transfer window. It's one of those with Deli Ali, and it's one of those where the fan base is so conflicted on him. You've got some fans who can't stand the guy. I'm more in that category. You've got some fans who are sitting on the fence who can see the potential in the player, but at the same time say he's not performing. And you've got other players, Delhi sexuals, which I just think is stupid. I think you can't keep backing this guy up after the performances and the way he acts in social media. And I think, but I think you've got to look at a loan deal to Newcastle. And, you know, if they sign him, okay, that's fair. But a loan deal, I would take that. I would take a loan till, uh, till the end of the season or, you know, for a couple of years. Because you've got to remember, this guy is still young. You know, going out on loan for 
a short-term loan deal or a year or two, as I say, could benefit him massively. We, you know, although Skip was younger, we saw how much it benefited him. Going out on loan to Norwich changed his career, man. He, you know, he didn't have a hope of starting for Spurs. Goes out on loan, you know, for Norwich, and he's one of our first team starters right now. You know, one of our first eleven starters, in all honesty, and he's been quality. So look, Skip's a perfect example, and for me. Deli Alley out on loan till the end of the season or a year or two doesn't sound too bad. He can get constant football, he can get a run of games. If he doesn't perform, there's no complaining. He comes back, we sell him, okay? But if we line him out, I just don't see how it can go bad for us. You know, he doesn't play well, we sell him, okay? He comes back to us, he has a fantastic time in Newcastle. His price tag goes much, much higher and we make a lot more profit from that transfer deal. So I think a loan deal for him would be fantastic. Then on to Tunky and Dombele, Mr. Mackey says, I like to call him after seeing that We Are Tottenham TV video. I really don't want this guy loaded out. I, I know he has the potential to be a good player, but you can have all the potential, you can have all the skill. But for me, it's about work rate and it's about effort. And this guy doesn't even know what those words mean. He's, you know, completely based his success. Uh, <laughs> He's completely based his um, success at Spurs all the time. He has excelled with those, you know, those goals against the likes of Villa and the bicycle kick against uh, against Sheffield, which is a fantastic goal, but he bases those all down to his skill, and he's just never had that work rate since coming to Spurs. Even when he was playing well, you know, when Pochettino first signed him in that season, he got sacks. You know, even under Jose as well, even when he's playing well, he's never had that work rate. He's never really got stuck in, really showed some passion for the club. I think this guy, the way he acted a couple of weeks ago in Morecambe, it was disgusting, it was a disgrace... Uh, to the club and I think the sooner we get this guy out in all honesty the better I have no love I have I, I, I can't stand the player quite frankly at the minute the way you know he treated the club and no player is bigger than the club and the way he acted he's like you arrogant fat lazy pathetic sloppy midfielder he's he's pathetic in midfield he's pathetic he's sloppy he's slow he brings nothing to the team I don't want this guy loaned I want him sold but then at the same time, are we really going to get him sold? Are people really going to put in... And this is the issue with someone like Levy. You can't expect these players to get sold for loads when, you know, based on their recent performances. PSG will most likely put in a bid for about 20, 25 million. And you know that Levy's going to demand much more than that based on his price tag a couple of years ago because he can't seem to understand the bald brass up top that time changes players, you know. He's a 20, 25 million pound player at the minute, in my estimation, and in my opinion. Yet there's no way Levy accepts that offer. And it, it's going to be one of those where Levy's going to raise the price tag. And we're going to be stuck with this guy. But I just want him out of the club, in all honesty. But look, that's that piece of news. Another piece of news, Adama Troyore did sign for Barcelona. Obviously a massive, massive target for Tottenham Hotspur this, uh, this month. Romano said, here we go. And you know when Romano says, here we go, the deal is done. And no matter your opinion on Traore, whether you think he's good enough, whether you don't think he's good enough, he's a player that Conte wanted. And I think as Spurs fans, we can all agree that Conte should be back, you, you, you know, should be back in this window. He's a player that Conte badly wanted and once again has been taken away from us. Once again, you know, Conte really wanted this player, you know, We've been hearing from many sources today that he was his number one target and we haven't got him. It's like six months has been interested in him. We hear all this absolute, absolute garbage and load of shit coming out of some of these sources' mouths and whatever, saying transfer business takes time. And this is from Daniel Levy as well. Transfer business takes time, you know. It takes time. It's very, very complex, uh, complicated. Okay, if it's so, so complicated, tell me why for six to seven months we've been after this guy. For six, you know, six to seven months we've been saying Tottenham Hotspur have been linked with Chiro. We've been bidding for this guy. Yet Barcelona coming in within two days, he's their player. I understand he wanted to move to Barcelona and I understand he would have preferred that to us. But it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how... Unfast, we act on these transfers. We wait till the last couple of days and we just let these sorts of players go. We keep on bidding for them and bidding for them. And, you know, we keep saying Spurs are interested, Spurs are interested. And then they move to another team. We've seen it so many times before, you know, in the summer and in January. Heavily linked to Marcel Sabitzer, right? 
looked like that deal was going to go through for so long, very similar to the trial away deal. We're linked to him, we're linked to him, we're linked to him. How long do you need to be linked to someone before you actually do something about the situation? Before you put in a proper, proper bid? It's like, it, it's, it's ridiculous. And Barcelona come in one day, you know, good enough deal, 30 million, bang, deal's done. How hard is it? But because this tight get up top doesn't want to go five more million more, you know, to to get this player, we can't. And it's pathetic on the board. And I do want to promote this once again. If you can, please get down there. Please get down there on Monday. Protest against the board. If you have different beliefs, completely fair. But if you believe like I do and like many other Spurs supporters do, that these owners shouldn't be here, please get down there. And there's someone who I massively want to shout out and give so much respect to recently. And that's Brian Daigle. This guy's out there every single day. Every single day. Letting his opinion be known. Letting fans' opinions be known. And it's so, so good to see. It's so, so good to see. And, 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 and Brian, you're an absolute legend for doing it. Because you're going out there every single day. And you're protesting against these owners. Whether you're the only one or whether there's people surrounding you. I'm, I'm so, so, you know, chuffed that you're sticking to your point. And probably going out there. And it's like, yeah, mental respect. Because you said you're going to go out there every single day and protest. And you have. You've stuck to your word. And it's like, fair play. So, guys, please go and check out Brian Tagle. Check him out protesting every day and check out the protest as i say and if you can get down there please do on um on deadline day but look going off that topic for a sec uh for a second we do have one last piece of news to talk about and that is that valencia are preparing a loan move for brian hill now i think you look at this deal with brian hill and you say he's one of those players he's going to struggle for game time at spurs he's going to get it at, Val um, at valencia i don't think we really need him this is a deal that should go through, and it's a deal I think probably will go through. I think probably will. Uh, I think there's a high probability that this one does take place. And that is it. Bob's your uncle, funny's your aunt, bish bash bosh, job done. Thank you for watching. This has been a fantastic transfer news episode to bring to you guys. A bit of a longer one, but I did hope you guys did enjoy it. And, you know, comment down below your opinions on all these transfers. And as always, come on you Spurs, in Conte. We trust Enoch out.